welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back, boo. Let's get started. Whew! All right, so it's time for me to do something else with my hair. So today I'm going to take this ponytail down and I'm going to do a wash and go for my first time. I don't know if this is going to be a fail. I don't know if this is going to be a successful, but we going to see. Because guess what? I'm going to record it regardless and I'm going to post this. So pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Beauties, if you hear anything in my background, that is, say it with me. Say it with me. Chance. So please forgive me in advance if you hear any playing or roughing around. It is him enjoying his lovely little perfect puppy life. Don't pay no rent. Eat about five times a day. And still acts like we don't feed him. But anyway, let's move on with the video. Okay, baby. So I'm going to be using a missing spray bottle. This was a Dawn dish soap like dish liquid soap bottle inside of this bottle is water and the dream girl tlc comb out so this is in here this is for detangling and moisturizing so i if you watch my wash day routine video i did show this and mention this as well but i absolutely love it it does make my detangling process a lot easier also to detangle with beauties i will be using this detangler brush it is by the brand crave i don't know if y'all can see that i will leave the link to this detangling brush down in the description box moving on let's take this sucker down this has been in my hair for about i think about five days so y'all i'm crusty i'm flaky like Girl, you let yourself get to this point. Ew. Y'all, Chance just pushed the door open. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let Thank the you. dogs out? Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. Some of y'all probably out there judging me in natural hair land, but I was ready to take that down. So now, time for it to detangle this. mini length check I know I haven't done one with you guys in a long time so we're gonna do my nape the napiest of my nape so like the corner of the corner okay let me actually pin this back let me 
pin the rest of that bike. And beauties, in case you're wondering, my hair, so the edges of my hair is closer to like a 3C, but like the rest of my hair is, is um, a 4A, okay? So don't, don't be coming for me, okay? In the comments like, uh uh, you're straight type 4. Beauties, I'm type 4. My edges just, you know, a little bit of a looser in. This is where I'm starting. Hope you can see that. I honestly cannot see where the start is, but we just gonna roll with it. Almost seven, so I would say like six and three quarters. Almost seven inches. Close up to six and a half. But it does kind of stretch the end stretch a little bit. Show you again. Yay! Awesome sauce. And to let's continue to take this thing. <laughs> okay, beauties, let me tell you something. I am so pleased with how easy it's been to detangle my hair. So when my hair was in that puff, I did not detangle my puff every day. I didn't do it at all, actually. So the fact that my hair, my the ends of my hair is has like not tangled up, I am so pleased. Plus this detangling um, treatment is helping as well. And I have low porosity hair, in case you're wondering, but like I said, beauties, as I'm sure y'all can see, it has not been an issue to detangle them on here. That's really nice. Now it is time to co-wash. I am going to use the Dream Girls Renewing Shampoo. And I'm going to use the Renewing Conditioner for the same brand. So with co-washing, I know some people do just a conditioner wash. But I literally have not shampooed in like three weeks maybe four who knows but I'm probably not gonna have this wash and go in for a long time probably gonna be about three four days max so I'm just gonna do a co-wash so I am gonna mix these two together in my hand and here we go So my hair is freshly co-washed. I didn't do a super deep co-wash. I do want to still keep some of those natural oils and whatever other little oils I did put in there. And it, it feels generally clean. So I'm not too, again, worried about it because this is only going to stay in maybe about three days or so. So without further ado, let's get on with the actual style. This is what I'll be using. My Infinity Pro by Conair Blow Dryer. And it does come with a diffuser, and I am going to use this. Miss Camille Roses Honey Hydrating Leave, is this a leave-in? Yeah, leave-in, like, moisturizer. I haven't used this a whole lot, but I do like it, and it smells glorious. So we're going to be using this. I'm going to be using the Extreme line. I usually do the regular one, but this is the only one that Target had. So 
that's fine I like this one I chose to use this one because it doesn't give me that crunch that eco does give me but I love my eco I'm never getting rid of eco okay I love my olive oil kind but this one does not give me again that same like crunch and flakiness that the eco does but again I like the eco more for certain things such as like a slick ponytail because it gives me the hold I need so there you go as y'all can see my hair buckles child I mean like click click I have to tend to her rather quickly unless I want to like re-detangle and everything but that's my type of hair okay so you guys are not going to be able to see the back so I am going to move on but I am going to do a small section just to show you guys what I'll be doing and then I'm just going to skip to the front okay I know I probably didn't need that much for this little section, but oh wow! Chance is on the balcony making threats, making noise, taking names like he actually gonna do something. But he not. Y'all know he not. So I'm just gonna take the gel and I'm going to rake it through. I ain't doing no finger coils. And that's what I'm going to do to create some type of something. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, beauties. I know I said I was going to wait until we got back up to the front, but I'm so excited. Again, I've never shingled my hair before. And so this is like so new to me. But look so far. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not mad. What? Y'all, this is my hair. Beauty. What? Girl. Girl. Oh no, you <laughs> You can't tell me nothing. Okay, beauty, so I got the first half done, which is the bike. Yes, ma'am. We drippy, we drippy. But I want to show y'all how I'm going to stretch. Oh, I look pasty and just all out of sorts. But anyway, how I'm going to stretch this and dry this because I it's going to whoosh, shrink up so bad and I don't want that to happen. So as you can see, it's shrunken up already because it is drying and my coils are really starting to hug each other really nicely. So. I'm going to again stretch my hair. So I'm going to take off the diffusing end and I'm going to keep it on cool and I'm going to do low and I'm going to gently pull my hair and then take the blow dryer and uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you. Okay, beauty. So I've got one more section left. This takes some time for sure because I am doing it in smaller sections. Um, so far I've been doing my hair all together for about two hours to include me taking the pony out, me doing my co-wash and everything. So I guess it's not too bad, but you know, um, this is how my hair is looking so far. I don't know how I feel about it, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, I liked it when it was wet and it was, you know, dripping and it was hanging. But, you know, it's obviously more of like a, a curly fro. Uh, you know, I've got type 4 hair, so I don't know what I expect. 
expected. But you know, it's still a little kind of like, but get out. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. And we're gonna make it do what it is. Okay, beauty, so I placed the gel after using the, of course, the moisturizer and ensuring it gets on all of my strands. I take the gel and I put it on the ends of my hair first, as you can see. Because, of course, if nothing else is coily, I want the ends of my hair to be coily. So, yeah, place on the ends first. And then I work the product in going upward. So I do go kind of heavy with the gel because the intent here is to have my curls as def well my coils rather as defined as possible. So I'm going kind of heavy on the gel. I love a good gel. I don't mind a little crunch if it does indeed happen. As you can see, my hair is lovely and gelled up. And now, I mean, I've already kind of been shingling it, but I like to kind of separate it as well to kind of make it clump by itself as well. just finished my hair so that is done so now as you already know I'm going to diffuse and it's gonna be this whole side because I didn't, I didn't do it at all so here we go not all the way dry yet beauties but this is what she looking like so I'm going to probably get cute tomorrow um, so you can see the final result but here she is this is it for the night I'm going to band my hair and then go to sleep with it like that in a pineapple situation and then i'm going to show you all what it looks like in the morning i'll see you later okay beauty so before i show you all the final result i wanted to make sure i showed you what i'm gonna be looking like up under my scarf i did decide to kind of band my hair as you can see i just used one maybe two ponytail holders to put around my hair so you can see that see i kind of did that from as close to the root without being tight as possible on up and of course i left my ends as they are so they can you know be nice and coily for me once it's dry but this is what i'm gonna be looking like up under that scarf beauties and like I said, I just wanted to show you. Good morning, beauties. I know I look probably crazy and sound probably crazy. It is like 5 o'clock because I'm about to go to the gym. But I wanted to show you all my process of taking my hair out of my headbands before going to the gym and fluffing my hair. So here we go. I did oil my scalp with the Dream Girls Tree Essential Oil. And the link down to this hair care system will be in my description box under the I support black businesses category. And I'm also going to put a little bit of olive oil onto my fingers. This is just a Target brand. I'm going to put this onto my hands so my hair doesn't frizz up. Well, rather to reduce the amount of frizz 
that my hair is going to produce uh, from touching my hair. You know what I'm saying? But good morning, good morning. That on the ends of my hair. And yeah. I will be posting pictures of myself glammed up, of course, with my wash and go. I suggest that you follow me on Instagram. If you have not already, I'm going to put my information at the bottom of the screen and it will be in the description box. My hair is still damp, but you can see how she's looking. Here. I am now move all the parts. I'm just fluffing the roots. As you can see. Okay, so bees, I'm just gonna put this headband on my head to kind of push my hair back a little bit. But yeah, this is looking like a braid out to me. Um but here we go. Here's the type four. Here's the type four. Here's the type four wash and go. It's, it'll fluff more when my hair is more dry, but I don't want to disturb it too much more. But of course, I'll come back when I'm all dogged up. But this is just going to be for my workout. For my workout. My workout. Okay, girl. Okay, beauty. So here is the final result of my hair. As you can see, I am dolled up. Mm, mm, mm. This is my type 4 hair channel. And I did my edges. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, beauties, that is it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. If you like the content you see, then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads beauties i love you i thank you and i'll see you in the next one